So we're going to go through another case. Um, this is a young guy who came in with some quite extensive, you could say, tooth wear, um, some decay as well, but just in the front area, you can see there's a little bit of decay there. Um, he's had some teeth that needed to be removed, a few implants, so we, we managed to, to get all of that done. He, his main concern was he wanted to change his smile. He, he's an actor, so he's very self-conscious about his smile um, because obviously he's showing it all the time, so he really wanted to improve it. So we said, okay, fine, let's start off with doing the uh, top teeth. We had to remove some old crowns, so again, we used the laser to remove the crowns. We placed a couple of implants where he had some missing teeth, and then we go, went ahead and we went with some falspathic veneers to improve his bite, but also to lengthen his teeth. His teeth are too short. Um, and this is the final result. So it's a small shot of the end result. And it's come out really nice. The veneers are beautiful. He's really um, happy with the result. Um, his whole family is. And it's given him a lot more confidence. So we've, you're probably asking what we're we doing about the lowers. Well, we're in the process of doing the, the lowers. So once those are done, we will show you another video and some pictures of the end result. But it's a really nice case with multiple multiple um, veneers, crowns, uh, implant crowns. So the challenge with doing a case like that, when you have an implant, two implants there, and some veneers and some crowns is to make them all match. So they're matched very well because the same ceramist is doing the case and he's doing it in phosphatic porcelain anyway. So it's the same ceramic he's using. For this actor who had this uh, smile design uh, for 12 units, so all the top teeth were done, uh, because he's an actor and he's actually a stuntman, he actually um, is worried that because of he does some pretty scary stunts, <laughs> he may fracture or damage his teeth or his veneer. So what we've done in his case, and we do this for a lot of clients who are uh, concerned about the profession or that if they're on TV a lot, they want to have a separate spare set of veneers made which is identical to the ones that we produce simply because if something happens um, even biting on a fork or something or trauma that they have another set that we can just put back on straight away because they're handmade it's not a simple case of you know making a, a new veneer it will have to be made by the same technician using the same ceramic so we would normally in these cases recommend and do in a second set of veneers and it's worked out very well because we've had a few clients who have come in and they said oh you know they, they've had an accident and they've broken one of the veneers and we've just replaced it and it's like for like it's easy so it's something we offer quite a bit now durability of these veneers is very good they're very thin because they're felspathic but once the bite is calibrated these will last for many 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 years so you know these type of veneers can last for 20 plus years if they're maintained well and there's no issues with the bite if you're a grinder, you're going to have to wear a guard, otherwise you will break the veneers just like you would your natural teeth. So that's what I always say to my patients is, if you're going to break your natural teeth, you're going to break the veneers because the veneers are not as strong as your natural teeth. But they are very durable, especially phosphatic veneers. They, they, they do kind of behave almost like natural teeth in the way they wear and the way they, the way they look. So, um, and as you can see on all these cases, they look supernatural and they don't look bulky, which is the other question people say, oh, am I going to have horse teeth? Well, no, not with us, because our veneers are super, super thin. Um, but unfortunately, you see a lot of people having a mouth full of teeth and that doesn't look good either. These cases are all non-preparation, but they look supernatural. And I think that's the art, is to make them look supernatural, but without destroying the tooth.